What's going on you guys? Modable Giraffe here and today I'll be showing you how to install the Tree Capitator mod for Minecraft 1.7.10 and let's get this one started. So first off what you want to do is go to this website in the description below and once you're in it you want to go look for 1.7.10 recommended and then drag on over to installer. It should take you to an ad fly page. You should wait five seconds so while after you after you wait five seconds, you want to click skip app. This should pop up and just press keep. Once you keep it, it should automatically download, so you should just drag it down. Now just keep it right there. Now we can exit this page out, and you should go to this link in the description as well to get the tree capitator mod. Now once you're in this page, you want to download um, the tree capitator mod and BSPKRS core. It is required, so let's download that first. So once you scroll down, you should look for this, and this. So let's download BSPKRS first, so once you click, once you find it, you want to look for the latest release, click that, and then click Add Fly. It should let you wait for 5 seconds again, and once that 5 seconds is up, you want to click on Skip Add. Keep again, drag it down again, now, you want to press back, back, and we should be back in this page. Now what you want to do is look for the tree captator mod and just click on forge SSMP SMP and then click on latest release. Once you're on this, you want to click on add fly. Wait for five seconds again. And then skip add. And then just drag it to the side, drag it somewhere on your desktop and we can X out Google now. Now once we have these three files, what we want to do is open a forge, click open, and then you should be presented with this page thingy, Mod System Installator, Installer, Installator, but click on Install Client and click OK. So this should take about a good 15 seconds to download because it's downloading all the um, required files to install mods into your Minecraft folder, so let's just wait for this. And once it's done downloading, <coughs> excuse me there, it should say this. So once that's done, we don't need Forge anymore, just drag it to your trash. Now once that's done, you gotta pay attention to this part. You wanna go to Finder, you wanna go to your name, Library, Application Support, and then you wanna scroll down and look for Minecraft. Once you're in Minecraft, you wanna just keep it up here, and then you wanna run the launcher. So once the launcher opens and runs, you want to click on Profile, right here, and change it to Forge and hit Play. So once Minecraft loads up, it should load up a mods folder and some other folder in your Minecraft folder. <laughs> That's a tongue twister right there, but like the config and mods folder. So once Minecraft 1.7.10 opens up, it should say 3 mods loaded in the bottom and 1.7.10 up here and Minecraft Forge right there. So quit game, exit out of Minecraft. So you're still in this Minecraft folder and there should be a new folder called mods. Double click on mods, open it up and just drag these two files in there. Now we have the mod, so let's test it out. You wanna run Minecraft again, wait for the launcher to load up, and then you wanna click on profile and make sure it's on forge. Click play, and then we should have the mod installed and we should test it out, if it works. So my kind of 1.7.10, we have the black screen right here, we have the Mojang screen right there, and we have successfully installed the mods, as you can see right there. So let's test it out and I'll see you guys what it does, I'll, I'll show you guys what it does, so I need some bone meal, so I'll put it to creative, and I gotta plant a bunch of saplings. So once the terrain builds, I'll show you guys what it does. Building terrain, hurry up, hurry up. So once the world's done generating, I'm gonna plant a bunch of trees for you guys and show you what it does. So, I'm gonna wait for it to load up. I hear those sheep. There it is, okay. So once the world loads up, you just wanna try it out, look for a tree. You need an ax, and look at this. We have gotten a god-given spawn. We spawned right in front of a jungle. So we basically just need 
a diamond axe or any axe would work. Any axe would work. Slash game mode zero level new three. Okay. So I'll show you guys. I'm on survival. And to prove to you that this works, I'm gonna chop down a tree. What you wanna do is you start from the bottom of that tree for this mod to work. And I'm lagging. Why? Because my recording software is lagging lately, but here it is. It takes about six seconds and bam, it takes out all the apples. And look at this, look at look 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 look. You wanna find a fat jungle tree? Like I can't find one at the moment. Oh, there's one. It, it like takes about six seconds. That's like six regular pieces of wood if you're chopping down a regular tree. But if you chop down a jungle tree, six seconds, look at look what it gives you. Come on, yep, this is the bottom. What it gives you. And it takes a while, since it's a jungle tree of course. But it takes about six to ten seconds, that'll get you about six regular pieces of wood. It's almost there, almost there. Uh-oh. It sometimes lags because there's a lot of wood that comes down. I literally cannot see it, but there it is. Whoa. How many pieces of wood did we get there? This mod is really useful if you're playing single player survival. Because I know you gotta build a lot of things. At most things in Minecraft require wood. So if you don't if you're like just if you get bored of chopping down trees like with the regular axe, it takes a long time. This mod is really useful. And we got a stack and 14 wood from this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, it only takes two seconds and it helps my channel. And can we get, can we get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this month? Thank you guys. See you guys next video. Peace out.